to the Rock Metal Podcast, episode 106 with Revenger. So Rock Metal Nation, what is up? This is John from the Rock Metal Podcast. That sample you just heard was We Want Blood by Revenger, who I've got on the show with me right now. They are a groovy thrash metal band from Vancouver, Canada. We're going to be listening to that song as well as one other. We'll find out more information about the band. Sean, JP, Andrew, welcome to the show. Hi, John. Probably the best intro I've ever had, actually. Dude, your <laughs> your radio voice is on point. Like, yep. man, like I I kind of felt like getting naked listening to that. <laughs> I didn't. I, I can. Thank you. Want, if you make me feel that. Yeah. Why are you thanking me? Well, thank you. Let's go listen to back to that track. We want blood. Come back from We Want Blood. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. It's sick. Like the bass tone is sick. The, the, the bass riff is sick. I'm pretty sure most of what I think I'm actually hearing is bass guitar. It's fantastic. Uh, the, <laughs> the, the diminished chords, like the like it's it's uh it's a sonic orgasm. I just wanted to thank you guys for bringing that it to life uh, in, into the universe. Uh, well, I'm glad that that it made your ears come. I'm really happy to hear that. That's good. Could, could next time you listen to it and your ears come, could you like 
film that and maybe send it to me for reasons. That, that would be fantastic. Now, my big question for you guys, for Rock Metal Nation, who is currently frothing at the ears of what they've just heard, what's, the, what's the story or inspiration behind We Want Blood? Well, uh, the whole album is uh, basically taken from... I've, I've sort of randomly picked a few classic comic book storylines that I thought were really cool. Um now I, I kind of I kind of want people to sort of infer the specific stories, but a lot of that stuff is like you know really cool. There's lots of really strong characters and really interesting you know concepts. So uh, with We Want Blood, uh, the character involved is a, is basically a stone cold psychopathic killer who loves killing people. So the Lyrics are basically talking about doing that and gaining the power to be able to do that on a much grander scale, which, you know, sounds like fun to me. Mm -hmm. I could dig yeah. it, right? I like who it. Doesn't, who doesn't like killing people? This is true, especially in mass quantities because it's cheaper that way. Well, it is. Now, now you're talking business. Yeah, maximum efficiency is yes. what we're going for yeah. here. So where scalability is what we're looking for. Now... <laughs> Totally curious. Uh, since, yeah. it's, since it's one guy, why is it called We Want Blood? Well, he kind of has a little friend. Go on. Yes. Well, it's an alien friend. I don't want to go too in-depth because then I'll give away who it is. But, yeah, they're, they're, they're buddies. They're if buddies. you read the lyrics, you should be able to figure out, I think. I don't know. Well, I'm, I'm looking forward to when the album gets mm -hmm. released and people read the lyrics and then just, you know, splooge all over our youtube video posts or what they think the song's about you know i'm curious how long it'll take for people to like guess because i'm sure people can guess i'm not really all that subtle honestly if you're nerdy enough i feel like people will be able to figure it out i don't know i think so we'll see we'll see what happens cool. if not it'll be one of those great rock and roll mysteries <laughs> what are those songs about because we still care 20 <laughs> years later <laughs> i can't believe i finished that sentence oh, wow <laughs> fantastic uh great so i guess my next question is what was unique uh about the writing process or maybe take us through the writing process of the track after the uh changes in the band i had quite a few songs and we uh we decided to pick a few songs from tracks i've already written in the past so it's kind of older songs that I had that we tweaked with the new members and uh, just made them what they are now. Just good vibe, good... Uh, it was It's always been a good vibe with the band, right? Mm -hmm. So just uh, the writing process, I, I don't even remember when I wrote that. So to be honest. <laughs> yeah, so... I, I remember when I wrote my parts for those songs. Yeah. Honestly, the, the We Want Blood, <laughs> the one thing I got to say, We Want Blood is... It's one of the songs that we started jamming in the space, and it just came together very quick on how we wanted the feel of the song to be like, just fast from start to finish. It might be the heaviest song on the album. Well, it's it's yeah. it's pretty crushing. Fast, fast yeah, there's a, there's there's definitely a lot of stuff going on too. Yeah. There's a few cool parts, you uh, know, what? do some interesting things. Things. Yep. Yeah, or originally when they first showed me what they were doing with the chorus of that song, I was thinking like, damn, everybody's playing so fast. I got to do something fast. But in the end, the thing, the chorus that I wrote, I think actually is kind of better than that would have been because it's just, it's a little bit, a little more accessible. Simplified you know, like, and left a bit more room yeah. to the Well, exactly, the right? The, like there's a, there's, a t there's a tendency with a lot of metal bands to like eschew accessibility in favor of being technical or being brutal or whatever right and i think that if you want people to remember your song a week later then you have to write a song and you have to kind of like let those elements be there you know i don't know this is kind of how i look at it yeah all right let's go listen to the next track hex
All right, come back from Hex. Another super de duper track, sick riff. I like how it goes into the right channel and just kind of tickles my right ear a little bit. And then the drums, we could spend some time on the drums. It's just, I love the way that the beat changes up. And just by the virtue of changing the beat from like a blast beat to double pedal, just it puts you into a completely different groove without even realizing it. I think it's fantastic. We think it's pretty fantastic too. We, we, we think we'll probably keep Julia in the band, probably. Probably. Most likely. Yeah. So. <laughs> Cheaper than easy drummer. Well, plus like, <laughs> way like you know how temperamental those drumming programs are. Like like the updates are like a huge pain in the ass. It's just I really couldn't be bothered. Like Julia's way easier to deal with than that. That's good. Obviously, uh, so my next question is, <laughs> what's the story or inspiration behind Hex? I'm guessing it's something similar with a uh, nerdy comic book reference? It sure is. Um, this particular story, we're talking about a character who basically goes batshit insane from losing her kids and pretty much rewrites reality. Go on. That's... <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty much it. I mean, she, obviously, once she rewrites reality, then it turns out to not quite be so cool. And, you know, a few, few people seem to remember the old reality. So they kind of, you know, it all. Uh, now, in the last track, you were talking about, uh, you know, newer members coming in and adding their own spice to the salsa, so to speak, with regard to We Want Blood. When it comes to Hex, was there anything unique about the writing process with Hex? Well, it was very similar. Um, we got the opportunity unlike we want blood we got the opportunity to play hex on the road a little bit and kind of like 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 ch we changed a couple things here and there and actually the reason we did a video for it which is going to be coming out in late january keep an eye out for it um is because of the songs that we played live from the new album the chorus of hex just got such an obvious crowd response like it's pretty catchy like, it's kind of impossible to not headbang to it. I'm sorry if I'm blowing my own horn, but it's kind of my job. Nobody else is blowing my horn. I'm Somebody's a toot to my own horn. Exactly. <laughs> that's, that, I understand that's why Marilyn Manson had his lower ribs removed, so that he could toot his own horn. Wow. That would... Not really. <laughs> why are you even surprised? I'm not. But uh... Anyways, the point is we picked that song to do a video because we thought, like, this is the, what will connect with people immediately. And the video is really rad. We had a, our good friend Connor Gilkinson here in town uh, do it for us. Uh, if you're if you're a Vancouver band, by the way, and you want to do a video, talk to uh, Ravencraft Creative, I believe is what they're called. They're fucking great. Um, so, go ahead, JP. Well, sorry. yeah, no, that's I'm, okay. I'm totally just taking <clears throat> um, over all the conversation. Like, in difference to We Want Blood, Hex had a bit more work in the jam space where uh, there was a lot more input in terms of structure to the song from everyone in the band so that was that, that was very interesting too I believe that was one of the first new song with the new lineup that we uh, worked on together so so it was uh, it, it's a lot of fun especially for me uh, seeing the two difference of bands it was a lot of fun to work with different members and getting different inputs so hence the new sound a bit in this in the new EP, quite different from the uh, first record that we did. Rock and roll, sweet. So a music video is going to be coming out in late January. So Rock Metal Nation's got the big question mark. Tell us about the music video. What is a music video? Um, it's pretty straightforward. It's a performance video. Um, it's you know you get good shots of us, uh, you know, playing the song and rocking out and generally looking pretty cool. It's very red. They're, they're, they're pretty much here's another them. hint yeah oh yeah that's another hint yeah it's yeah. almost it's give, give it all up that scarlet right? <laughs> you almost say hmm. but the uh the, for the video was a lot more about representing the energy because Reven revenger was always has always been since day one about the energy that is created by this, these fabulous people that i get to play with huh ah. 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 so well, plus it really so, represents the live show well, you know, because we're we we're a pretty high energy live band, you know. We and so it made sense to us for a first video introducing ourselves to the metal world is like this is us performing. This is what you're gonna see when you're going to one of our shows because you know it's kind of 
that's kind of I think it's kind of the easiest way to to just show people what you're about. I mean, what we you you can make elaborate videos with crazy storylines and stuff like that, but at the end of the day, you're almost kind of taking away from the song sometimes. But you know? one day there will be. But yeah. uh, as a first, it was yeah, exactly. You want to just say this is this is what we do, you know. Cool stuff. Now, my next question for you guys is what kind of exciting news you have coming up for Rock Metal Nation to pay attention to. Uh, Now, we know how we have the music video coming up, and also the song Hex will also be officially released later on in January as well. So, Rock Metal Nation, this is a bit of an exclusive that We Want Blood is already available, but Hex is potentially a brand new track right around the same time that this is airing. Uh, but what kind of exciting news do you guys have rock metal, <clears throat> for Rock Metal Nation to pay attention to? Uh, well, the album itself, the EP, will be coming out, is it February 19th? 17th. 17th. Yeah. 17th, my mistake. I thought it was 19th. It's February 17th is when it will be released. Um, and online and in whatever stores will have us. <laughs> <laughs> and then further down in the year, uh, for your side of the... The country, we will be going uh, sometime in April, most likely mid to late April. We'll be playing, um, we're planning on a tour right now in the moment to go all the way to Quebec, uh, possibly Quebec City and back. So we will definitely be hitting Edmonton mm-hmm. sometime. I imagine we'll be April. hitting Calgary as well. Uh, um, anywhere else in Alberta, we'll be hitting Red Deer. Yeah. Are we getting Red Deer? Uh, no. I hope so. I don't know. We like Red Deer. Red, Red Deer is kind of awesome. Is and, yeah. and shout out to Justin Shadows because he's also such a sweetheart. We do love that man. He's a lovely man. <laughs> All right, fantastic. Now, the next logical question for Rock Metal Nation listening in right now who love the tracks that you've heard. They love that you're coming to a town near them to take it over because we want blood. We want to give hexes. We want to do all these wonderful things. They're excited about the music video. Is there a website that they should go to so they can keep in touch with Revenger? So the uh, definitely the most common thing nowadays, unfortunately, is the old Facebook world. Uh, everything happens on Facebook. Um, there's also the Bandcamp page that will be. Uh, there's some stuff that's going to happen in the next week or so on the Bandcamp page, Revenger Music at, uh, on uh, Bandcamp, and that's mainly the, the top two at this point mm-hmm. to communicate. Do we even have a Twitter? No. We do. Do we? We do have a Twitter. Oh my god! I don't know. We had a Twitter. Twitter. At Revenger Music. Is it at Revenger Music? Yeah, I sent you guys a like. Oh, okay. See, you know our Twitter. I don't even know our. I didn't even know we had a Twitter handle. Okay, cool. I know everything about you. You do. Oh, whoa! Can you say that with a lower voice? I know everything about you. Oh, you're talking to him. Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> Fabuloso. All right. Well, unless there's anything else you guys wanted to throw out there, I just wanted to thank you for taking time out of your day to come onto the Rock Metal Podcast and sharing Revenger with Rock Metal Nation. No worries, man. Thank Cheers. you. It's been an absolute pleasure. You're just a, an absolute joy, John. Don't let anyone ever tell you different. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully you just found your new favorite band in Revenger. Big thanks again to them for coming on and sharing their music with us. Make sure to head over to www.therockmetalpodcast.ca to get all the information on the show you just heard today. And until then, rock on, Rock Metal Nation!